Hey guys, I have some really cool friends here today. It's Amanda and Mark, also known as the NYC couple. We met back in New York in like October o 2015. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, before I left traveling, and they were also thinking, well, like you were already starting to plan your yeah. travels then? They had like just started. And then when did you um, leave to start your trip? October 2016. Oh, that's pretty good though because you allowed yourself a whole year to plan and save. Now we have a lot more flexibility when we're traveling. <laughs> Definitely. Do you have any tips on how to save money? I had one thing that really worked for me and that was I made a separate savings account in uh, my bank and I titled it Travel the World. So I would put my extra money like if I had one pay period and then I had extra money left over on my next pay period, I would put all that money in my travel the world. And like at at first, we only had planned like save 500. Each of us save 500 a month. Once that started growing, I think it was like motivation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, like you see that number, right. and you're oh, like, oh, I'm gonna put all of this in yeah. there. Screw <laughs> yeah. that. <laughs> Good inspiration for all of you. All you have to do is just take some time and actually save it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you have, you have to be a hermit too, a little bit. So there was <laughs> yeah, lots of times yeah. that yeah. there was a lot of fun things, and all mm. of our friends were traveling and going on these little vac like that short week vacations, right. and it's like yeah. we yeah. have this money saved. Yeah. And we're like, okay. Just don't do anything. We're not gonna go out. We're not gonna do any little trips. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gl really glad that you did it and now you're yes. traveling. Yep. Tell me about where, how you started and where you've been so far. We started in Cartagena in Colombia. So yeah. that's pretty much like one of the northernmost points in South America. Okay. I mean, it goes a little bit more, but we started there and then we went from Colombia to Ecuador, Ecuador to Peru, Bolivia, and then Argentina. Our biggest mistake is we didn't allot enough time. Uh, yeah. Two months is not two months. We could have spent two months in like Colombia, right? Yeah. Alone. yeah, yeah. And and it, since it's our first really big travel trip, we still had we had to kind of learn the ropes, yeah. right? <laughs> and yeah. we're getting out of that New York City mentality. Yeah. yeah. So we just like flew through Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it yeah. was really bad, but we were just like we have to go, 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 go. So you would recommend if you could do it again, like maybe not having a flight out, like a or just kind of. Doing it as you go. Or? Now that's another issue, is because you actually have to have a an exit ticket oh, right. to even fly there. So it was good that we had it, because we wouldn't have been able to get yeah. on our flight. <laughs> the reason why it was such short timing is because we wanted to be in New Zealand right. by December, and we want to get to um, Australia and the Philippines before rain, rainy season uh, hits the yeah. Philippines. So. That's all kind of in there. And so you've been in New Zealand now like almost two months? Or no? No, yeah, this no. is five weeks. Yeah. Okay. And if you didn't notice that we're in this really awesome van, <laughs> actually they did a really good van tour, so <laughs> I'm just gonna link that. You should watch their van tour, it's awesome. But like I traveled in a van for a very short time, but it was not as cool as this one. This one is like a sink and a stove and a table that this is on you can't see. But you guys bought it and then now you're selling it. And I think yes. that's such a good way. A lot of people who come to New Zealand do that because it's such a better way. You don't have to yeah. pay like a daily rate to rent a vehicle. How did that go? Like was it hard to buy it or? I remember um, I watched your Instagram yeah. stories and I was like, oh, first of all, I didn't know they had like huge lots of vans. That was crazy. Yeah, me neither. Everyone remember. in New Zealand is so friendly. Yeah. And like our second day, we went out and had dinner at a Thai place. Yeah. And then I got oh, to talking, yeah. we were paying the bill and he's like, what are you guys doing here? And I explained to him, we were looking for a van. And then he told us, he's like, oh, well, they had this big camper van or this big car fair right. on Sundays. And oh, it was a Saturday. So we're cool. like, perfect. Yeah. And then we went there, and it, this happened. It looked yeah, really it awesome. Happened. It was just yeah. like like a lot full of like just every kind cars, of yeah. van and car yeah. you could there ever imagine. Even, yeah, there were vans, cars. Yeah. So it's in Auckland. I don't. I searched for them here in, in Christchurch. I don't right. think they have them okay. here. But yeah, it was. They have like separate areas, so they have them yeah. by price too. Mm. Right. So if you That's have so like three thousand dollars, there's like a section yeah. for cars that are three thousand and less, and yeah. then the camper van section, and then the baller section with like the BMWs <laughs> yeah. and yeah. The, the nice cars. And it was nice because they actually had their own mechanics there too, so they oh, yeah. you yeah. could do that. We made the mistake; we thought we'd find a cheaper option. Mm. 
that wasn't the case. I think we found it quick, but then like the whole process of transferring right. it over was like two days. It's really easy to buy a van though here. Yeah. yeah. So they're leaving, well, um, they're living in like a week yeah. from here, but they already sold the van. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. We're meeting with the people who are going to buy the van at the mechanic. So hopefully all goes well. And are you getting back pretty much the amount of money you spent? Exactly. exactly. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. It's like free, yeah. free car and we free were, accommodation. Just, like we were just talking about it on the way over. We ran into so many people that rented. Another couple yeah. had a van similar to this and they paid the same amount we did. Right. Just and to rent. Just, just to, to rent. rent. If you're curious of the price, yeah. we can tell you. Um, so we paid uh, 7200 New Zealand and the people we were talking about who rented, they were only here for seven weeks and they paid 7000 Whoa. Yeah. 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 That's so That's crazy. crazy, right? <laughs> so tip to you if you're on a budget, <laughs> bye. You just, the, I guess the only thing is like you have to have the money up front. So yeah. just yeah. save enough money to have yeah. that. And then are you going to do the same thing in Australia? Totally. Yeah. 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 But actually another option if you're only here for a short amount of time is to do the transfers. What was that wow. called? The car transfers. So, um, like Live Juicy, oh, right. people will uh, travel from the North Island to the South Island and they need to get the car back to the North Island. So, they'll pay people to drive the car back up there. Yeah. So or I think you're... sometimes it's like a dollar a day or something. Yeah, it's like... something oh. super cheap. Yeah. So, I only did the van thing for like four days, but I really enjoyed it. But I did find it kind of challenging with like bathrooms and showers and like sometimes there's like where do we park I don't know it seems like kind of <laughs> random did yeah. you have troubles like that or yeah so the at first you you don't really know what you're what you can get away with what yeah. you can do and can't right. do but now we're just kind of really getting the hang of it <laughs> and now we're selling it oh. but yeah we haven't had any issues really with I, I think the biggest issue is the shower. The thing is, we don't shower every day. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's just kind of the reality of it. Because if you do, I mean, it's just going to cost a lot. Right. It's like $5. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's 5 bucks a person. Yeah, but not even the cost. Sometimes, it's just hard to find public showers yeah. and ones that are open. Yeah. And not grimy. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, so I think that was like the biggest challenge, but... We're swimming out in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I, count that, that, yeah. I count that as my shower. I think so. <laughs> There's also the app that's been oh. super helpful here. I didn't know about an app. Oh, man. Oh, wow. It's, it's the best Camper app. Mate. Camper Mate. We'll link yeah. it below. Seriously, <laughs> the best app. It oh. lists all the free campgrounds, oh. so that solved our problem yeah. for camping. Um, it lists um, showers, public showers, where you can get yeah. water, where there's bathrooms. Mm. Oh, I wish so, I would have known about this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I really want to buy a van and just like... <laughs> <laughs> I told her I'm ready to buy a van in the States. Yeah, When we go back home, should. I spent one night just watching videos. Yeah, there's so many videos. So many. I watch so many too. <laughs> yeah, and these guys are just like decking them out and they yeah. look so... It's so cool. You can do so many good things. Do you have any like good like highlights of things that stand out that you're like, oh, so glad we went there? My favorite so far, just the whole like experience, the scenery was Rainbow Mountain in Peru. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures of that. It was I think amazing. I watched your video too. <laughs> yeah. It was so amazing. I really like the bungee jumping here, uh, actually. I don't know, yeah. it was just, uh, it's the first time yeah. I bungee jumped. I like Death Road too in Bolivia. You can ride your bike down this road. It's the youngest road, and it's it, a lot of people die. Oh, no. But <laughs> I think there's a lot of roads in New Zealand that are pretty similar. I think yeah. there's just re less regulations in South America. Right. Yeah. So there's one section where you you can look over the cliff, and there's actually wreckages from like two buses. Yes. That was Mark's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> He's a <man. laughs> yeah. Two of my highlights revolve around just hanging out with local people. Yeah. So in Ecuador, I played basketball with these old guys. Oh, cool. And we didn't, un like, I didn't really speak Spanish, they didn't speak yeah. English, but we still kind of understood. Yeah. And then in uh, Mount Manganui, we ran into these two locals and they brought us to this swimming hole. Oh, nice. Yeah, and they were both like crazy, yeah. fun, really super nice yeah. guys. Drunk. And they, were, yeah, and they were drunk, which probably contributed to them being more outgoing. But it was, uh, yeah, so that was a lot of fun too. I thought of one of my favorites actually okay. in the South Island yeah. is Lake Pukaki. 
Oh, so beautiful. So, so incredibly beautiful. The water yeah. was like unbelievable. It looked so photoshopped and the bad thing is that it only looks that way when it's sunny out and uh, thankfully we went on a day when it was sunny because oh, the next so day we went yeah. back and we were like oh we're gonna get some more pictures and it was oh, just like a little overcast and you couldn't tell uh, that the water was so blue has traveling together strengthened your relationship well you get a lot more <laughs> personal that's for yeah, sure yeah oh yeah uh, <laughs> i guess well like we live in a studio, yeah, so that's it's like mm -hmm. kind of the same. But There's some stressful times here yeah. and there, yeah, definitely. and more so in the begin, maybe in the beginning, because what have we been not together? No. Yeah. Like it's okay. pretty much <laughs> yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah. Now it's kind of weird if she goes off somewhere. I'm like, You're like where did you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice sometimes because he'll get up early. So if he like goes out to take pictures, I just like to enjoy the bed when it's laid out. Yeah. Just all by myself. Oh, it's like this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, good. I would have. I raced back here because I thought she. I was like, I wasn't sure if you wanted to see the sunrise. Yeah. So I, was like, I better get Amanda. <laughs> so I ran back to the van and she was chilling in here drinking coffee. Uh, <laughs> so now. Well, next week you're, go you're going to Australia, right? Mm -hmm. And then how long are you going to be there? I don't know. So I'm... I, <laughs> I don't know. Like, for me, I'm starting to get a little burned out. Mm, I feel yeah. like for three... I mean, it's only been three months, but we've done yeah, so much so shit much. in three months. Yeah, yeah. It's, you got to, like, chill for a little bit. Yeah, and you really can't yeah. digest. So it's yeah. like there are days where we're... we're like, a couple days ago, we went to, like, three different places, and every one right. of them was beautiful. Yeah. Right. And you really can't take it all in. No. And then even just thinking, we were looking at videos from Ecuador, and yeah. it was like, oh yeah, that yeah. was so much fun, and we can't remember it because we're concentrating on the next yeah. thing, the next thing. Yeah. So I like ideally, it'd be nice if we could find a house sitting place That'd in Melbourne. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Like, I'd like to do a month and just yeah. like just chill out, chill out, yeah. and not have to worry about. Like, let's go do this, let's yeah. go do that. Yeah, you should. Do you have like a time, an end date? Or is it just open? Mm -hmm. Until we so run good. out of money? Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Start living real cheap and then, yeah. and then we'll never go home. I think we'll be able to stretch it out to yeah. like a year yeah. at least. <laughs> is there anything else you want to say? Or any like, yeah, piece of um, inspiration? So this yeah. is a common misconception is Everybody that sees our Facebook posts and our social media, everyone says you're so lucky, or how can you guys afford to do this, or mm -hmm. this and this, and it's not, it, I don't, like you could save up a few thousand dollars and you can go hang out in South America for you know months, yeah. and you'd be able to see and do tons of awesome and phenomenal things, yeah. and really it's just committing to doing it and then just doing it. like. Yeah. yeah, so true. Just taking it's, that first yeah. step and just really making the commitment to do it. And then once you make that commitment, everything's easier because then you just plan everything around, yeah. you know, what you're going yeah. to do. So save up, get, build up your credit card points. <laughs> yeah. Get a oh, flight yeah. Credit here. Card points. Yeah. Get credit card points and just mm. pay everything on the credit cards and then pay it off right away. Don't yeah, let it build up. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the key. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get free flights. We paid for our flight from Argentina to New Zealand, all with points. So, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, go see the world, there's so much to see. If you're interested about all the stuff they've been talking about, they have a YouTube channel that you should go watch all their videos, and I think you're still in We're South still America. We're so far behind. <laughs> I We're just so watched your last one about, like, getting stopped by the <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Um, yeah. But yeah, a lot of cool adventures, and then now you can keep up with them as they continue their way. Thanks so much for watching, Thanks. and subscribe for more. See you guys. Bye.